Hey guys and welcome back to The Big Build. You're looking at some stills of what we're going to be building over the next three episodes. We're going to be sending the branch line out further to the uh, to a brand new village. Now this is a map of how it looks right now. The branch line is the one which goes down to the bottom. We're extending out to the left and further downwards. So let's get going. Well, well actually this is it. This is how it looks right now. You can see there's not a lot of scenery. So first of all we're going to uh, build some extra land. Now we go three out wide, three further out wide. Now we're going to look a little bit longer as well. And then we're going to put the track on. Remember to hold the shift button down so they don't snap together. That's a portal around that area somewhere there. I keep that there because uh, that means I can run it while I'm still doing this. In the last episode when you saw the trains running, that's where it ran to. So we're lowering the land next to the, uh, the railway here. Trying to pick a, a nice level, kind of sort of create a hilly area, and then on the other side we're going to raise it up a bit. So it's on a slope. It looks like it's on a slope. So we've lowered it down again in the middle. This bit is the bane of the uh, the scenery. What I've been ma what I've made. You'll, you'll see it later on, but I can't get it quite right. I don't want the end to be seen, so I turn it around. I mess around with it, and well. We'll get there at some point. At the moment we're flattening it, we're using the flattening tool, which is the one next to the, uh, the number you see, the green button. Because we're going to have a river along here. And the river's going to have to be straight. Well, it's going to have to be flat. Before that, we're using the gradient tool, which is the one we're going to it now. There we go, there's a, a static river. That's going to be used as a riverbed. We'll put proper river water in later on. I did ponder just using this because from here it looks not bad, but the problem is we're going to be getting closer to it and that's when you can see it. So next we're going to paint a little bit along it, but well, this is going to end up being the riverbed. There we go, we had some banking and stuff like that. Oh, this is going to be, it's going to be muddy next to the water, so... Uh, and some blue for the, a little bit more brightness around the you sort of see it's shimmering in there as you uh, look across and now everywhere we sort of well you don't everything want to be we don't everything <laughs> can't speak we don't want everything to be the same color you need to do a myriad of different colors as you go through it we're gonna have some crops and all kinds of things around here you can see I practice loads of colours here. It is difficult. You just keep changing the direction, keep changing the colour, and eventually you'll get something which looks reasonably real. Just don't stick to one colour everywhere. There we go, and this takes a while. So we're doing the trap bed on now, the ballast. Once again, this is a base colour. We end up doing it quite a few times and uh, doing colours and stuff. I left this on there for a while, but it's just not the most scintillating thing to watch, but just to grasp how long this takes, this took a long time. And again, we go across it again with a different colour, slightly different colour. And this track's quite long, so it does take a while. And this is where you're going to be looking mostly, so it's got to be the area with the most diverse amount of colours, really. Not sure we're going to be layering it with some uh, splines of grass and things later on. But as you can see, it does take a while. Right, so now we can start putting scenery on it. We start with some fencing. We'll be sort of Put a few bits of fencing here and there, put some walls, put some hedges. Once again, you would never see it it's exactly the same everywhere. Different places are owned by different people, so different field owners would have different sort of fencing, walling and things, so. I've pretty much stuck to three or four different things though. The, the, we use the same wall, for instance, in different places. We're not stopping here. It's just got to look okay as we go past it. Now what I have done when it goes up there 
Later on, I push it back down again behind. So it looks like there's a hill and it goes over the top. Rather than we just go straight to the edge. Now we'll also put some backdrops along there as well later on. Mostly trees, actually. I think I've decided there's going to be lots of woods around here. There you go, that's that portal I said. That does get moved. That's just so I can still play with it while there. And I do enjoy playing with it. This is my little train set. So it just means I can continue running it. So up we go. This gets changed so many times. And actually this build's done over a period of about three weeks. So what we're seeing now is uh, pretty much done the same day. Obviously a lot of it's cut out. It would bore you to death if you saw all the stuff I had to do. Well that said, I am thinking of doing a live stream. So once these episodes, all these episodes are out, then we'll decide. It'd be nice to actually interact with you guys while we're actually building one day. So if you think that's a good idea, let me know in the comments. And then we're, uh, we're trying to arrange a time to actually do it. Someone actually, a time where everyone can actually watch it. So we're heading back into the town now. You can see there's a castle up here. We're going to put some, a few trees and things in front of it, sort of to hide it a little bit so we don't just notice there's a backdrop. Here we go, that's the, that's the old scenery. That's where you saw up to in the last, um, episode yeah, that's it we put some more fields in we just we're all doing this dividing it right now and then we're going to think what we're going to put in now I, I didn't really want to put them over that that's a sort of marshy area and I quite like that, like that. Right now it's probably too far out, so we're just adjusting it slightly. That's it, we'll carry on. Might have to change some of those hedges because as you run through, they look rather see-through. I think some of those small ones to the right there. So, right now they are there and uh, up to the point you'll see it running, they're there. After that, I don't know. This doesn't last very long. It's a good idea. I'm trying to mask the edge of the uh, the board there, because when you're actually over the side, you can actually see that the end there, the side. Well, don't want to see that. But that looks nicer than that does, so just the trees look fine, I think. I forgot to press the shift button there. A lot of these trees were put on, then removed, and put on, and removed. So as I say, that area there at the back, that hill, I do lower that down quite a bit, actually. And then I paint it black later on. You don't see it, and also, um, I think black, just pure black, uses less resources. Even paint uses resources, GPU resources. But you do have to be careful what you do. You can see that hill to the right there, where the water goes through. You can see why it's there. You're trying to hide the fact that it's the end. So you, won't, you don't generally see all the way, but it just doesn't look real. I tried putting trees on there. You're going to see later. I put loads of trees around it. It doesn't look any better. They get removed. And I end up putting a few back on. Trying to remodel it again, again, again. Once again, it's one of those things which remains onto the... Uh, the fourth episode where we uh, we'll, we'll dry through, but after that we do have to long term think what's going to go there. The rest of this is sort of quite like. You're viewing it from the other side, so you don't. It doesn't have to be very very detailed. You're viewing it from just from here, really. It just has to be. It's like a vista. You're looking to, you're looking towards it, a valley and the hill the other side. Go okay, more fencing. Ah, 
that's it. Still a little too far out, I think. Just adjusting. And we're back to the other side again. You see those low poly ones look fine from the other side. There you go, we put some sheep there. Bah. Some of these stay, some of them don't. We put some crops in some of the airfields. I found I find some splines of crops. And of course we're using the turf effects and the clutter effects in places as well. So it's a mixture of the grass splines and the turf effects which we can be using. And you only really want to be using those because they're, they, they are graphic, you know, GPU intensive those things. So you only want to use them near to the track. hear the train in the background. Here's me, I thought I'd put the sound off. So here's the trees I put here to sort of hide the fact that that's that rather nasty hill there. I think what I might do is move the uh, the water around to the left so you don't actually see the end. Then I can have a, a more gentle slope. I might guide around to the left. Here we go, some trees in front of the, uh, the castle there. Once again, we're going quite a pace at this point, so we don't need to put anything... Some of the high-res um, trees at the back there. We will put a few at the front. The uh, the moving ones. The animated trees and bushes. But the back, we really don't need to. It actually looks nice, but it's not animated, so I don't think it stays there at the end. Well, you might also try... No, it's not doing top left. It says pay where equals false. So that means I'm trying my best to just find the free stuff. So when it goes onto the uh, download center, download station here, hopefully the route will actually work. We can see it's taking shape. But uh, I play with this for about a week before I carry on after this, though. Not quite happy with it. Oh, too much grass. You just want it near the track area. There we go, some stones, cloud effects. It does give a... Uh, sort of depth to the track I think and that's it for the first episode I'd like to thank everyone for watching there's more there's uh, two more build episodes and then we're going to be doing the uh, drive-through okay guys thank you very much see you next time cheers and bye bye